Hello everyone! In this video, I will teach you how to display your device temperature just like this hardware, but in the cheap way. Specifically in this video, I will display my GPU's temperature. Before we start, let's take a look how it turned out. If you're interested, let's take a look at the bill of materials. First of all, you'll need a display module. I used an SPI display module, but there are a lot of different modules selling on AliExpress, with different prices, sizes, colors, resolutions, and communication interfaces. They are in general very cheap. You will not spend more than 5 bucks on them. The next thing you need is a microcontroller. It can be any microcontroller you want, even an Arduino, but at the price they are sold, there are better options to choose. I personally recommend this SP32 on this store in AliExpress. In this project, I used the LG f 32 hp because it was useless here with me. It has already been bought it, and it's not very useful for other applications that I want to do in the future. You need also a USB cable to program the MCU and send the temperature information from your PC, to power on the board and to program the MCU with a bootloader's help. And finally, you need DuPont jumpers or electrical wires to connect the MCU with the display. The computer will read the GPU temperature via driver. In the case of this video, I am using a Windows machine with an AMG RX 6600. And the PC will read through WMI and Open Hardware Monitor help. But if you are like me and prefer Linux, I will also make a video to read the temperature via sensor application. The PC will send through serial port a string with the temperature to the MCU. Since I am using an SPI display module, the MCU will send that information through SPI, but you can use whatever module you want. For Windows users, I have made a program with a small GUI in C Sharp with WPF. I have written C Sharp because Open Hardware Monitor was written in C Sharp too so it took less time to develop. The serial port where is your MCU is found, you can check by opening the device manager. The application requires .NET Framework 4.5 because Microsoft. I will leave all the projects available for you to compile and modify to meet your needs. The MCU programming I did with the Arduino help, since there was a full working library for the display module. I will leave the code for you to compile and modify for yourselves too. With that said, I have wired and tested the project with the help of a breadboard. Since it has worked, I took off the breadboard and wired the display directly. Then I did some poor cable management and tested it again to make sure it was still working. And then I fixed the wires inside my case close to my GPU. If you are a little more whimsical than me, you will make something more visually pleasing. You can cover and hide the wires to make it better presentable. But it works. To activate the sending of the information, you just need to click in the start button. And to stop the sending, to click in the stop button. Look again at how the display looks. To the next. 